Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the best wireless gaming keyboards in 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check out the links in the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button and comment the hidden word found in this video. Number 5. Red Dragon K530 the keyboard uses a standard 60% layout and ABS plastic for almost everything. That includes the case and the plate, the bit between the keycaps and the circuit board. This results in a lightweight build, which is a blessing with a wireless board that needs a battery and some extra parts. The keycaps, nothing especially flashy or ugly, allow the RGB lighting to shine through while also showing secondary functions. This design should be familiar to you if you've ever glanced at the mechanical keyboard space in the last few years. With power controls and the USB-C port on the side, the K530 is not compatible with cases designed for standardized 60% boards like the IBKC Poker or the GK61. But that's okay because of that second distinguishing feature, modular hot swap switches. While the keycaps aren't anything special, I'd replace them with some PPT DSAs in a heartbeat, they're perfectly adequate for banging out this and other reviews. The case comes with the usual swing-out feet if you'd like something a little more high-profile, the K530's programming and software is a mess, to the point that I was glad to be done with it for not letting me use my favourite layout, but I fully admit that's a criticism that's fairly specific to me. If you just want a cool, cheap keyboard to play with that offers a rare combination of Bluetooth, RGB lighting and hot-swappable mechanical keys, Red Dragon has delivered at an almost shocking price point. Number 4. Logitech G613 the Logitech G613 is a pretty weird beast. It is a mechanical wireless keyboard that Logitech is pitching to gamers, a demographic notorious for clinging to latency-free wired connections. Aesthetically speaking, the keyboard looks plain with a black and grey plastic chassis and white lettering on black keycaps. There's no backlighting, but there are discrete media buttons. It operates via Logitech's own lightspeed dongle or via Bluetooth, though you don't get the ultra-low latency and rapid 1 millisecond report rate when using Bluetooth. In fact, the G613 is only wireless, with no option to plug in a USB cord even if you want to. When it comes to connectivity, the G613 can connect via either a wireless dongle or Bluetooth or both if you want to jump back and forth between typing on your computer and typing on your phone. The keyboard even comes with a cute little phone stand. If I have to mention a disadvantage, I would say that the lack of LED backlighting is slightly harder to overlook. As for myself, I've never been a fan of RGB lighting, but there are plenty of gamers who love it, especially those who prefer to play in the dark. Although it is just my personal opinion, that doesn't have to affect your final decision. Overall, if you're looking for a quality and durable keyboard, then the Logitech G613 would be your ideal option. Number 3. Logitech G915 TKL the Logitech G915 is a very nice-looking, low-profile mechanical gaming keyboard that has dedicated macro keys, full RGB lighting, multi-device pairing, and more. It really is an exceptional keyboard for gaming. It's extremely responsive, and it has the programmable macro keys, which are amazing. It's a pretty large keyboard, and it has a metal frame along with hard plastic on the back. Moving on, I should mention that the company has designed a new set of switches that look great along with Aroma G switches that deliver an amazing experience. It has an aluminium build and it's very lightweight, which means that you can carry it with you wherever you want. It has a very durable build and it can last you for a long time. The keycaps are made out of plastic and they have a low profile, which makes the keyboard look very cool. One of the best things about this keyboard is the new GL switches, and there are three types of GL switches that you can choose from. The GL Tactile is great for gamers and in general, and for typists. The GL Linear switches are better for successive keystrokes, and the GL Clicky switches deliver a pretty amazing experience. One of the best features of this keyboard is the Light Sync, which syncs in your lighting with the audio, delivering an amazing experience. It really is one of the best keyboards in the market, and you should definitely check it out. Number 2. Razer Black Widow V3 Pro the Black Widow V3 Pro screams Razer, from its premium build and keycaps to its flashy RGB, media controls and included wrist rest. It's a fantastic option as a full-sized wireless gaming keyboard, but it's expensive and needs software to change the RGB. It really is the best wireless keyboard on the market, though. The Black Widow V3 Pro looks like many of Razer's keyboards. 
Take its showy media dial or the slithering snake emblem on the bottom of the keyboard and its included plush leatherette wrist rest. Overall, it's a simple all-black build, boasting a sturdy aluminium top plate and plastic base. Most of this keyboard's flash comes from the RGB, which Razer's never been too shabby at, but has upgraded even further by debuting transparent versions of its mechanical switches that are supposed to help the LED shine through more. The Black Widow V3 Pro features tactile and clicky Razer Green or Linear and Silent Razer Yellow 3.5mm total travel actuating at 1.2mm with 45 grams of force mechanical switches. Out of the box, it's programmed to turn off after 15 minutes of inactivity. With these settings, my review unit averaged a little over 14 hours before needing a charge. The Razer Black Widow V3 Pro delivers on Razer's reputation of high-end gaming. Despite its wireless connection, it proved as reliable as a wired keyboard, so long as battery life wasn't on its last legs. Number 1. An Pro 2 The An Pro 2 is a nice-looking compact keyboard that feels very well-made and has many great features that any gamer would love. It has some disadvantages like the lack of incline settings and palm rest, but it still manages to be on our top 5 list thanks to its performance. It's a great 60% keyboard that feels very well built and has many more great features that any gamer would love. You should also know that this keyboard doesn't come with a palm rest, and the incline settings of this keyboard can't be adjusted. I should also mention that there are no arrow keys, but you can use a combination of the FN key and the WASD keys to use the arrows. It has a nice look, and the keycaps are PBT and come with a matte finish. Each key is individually backlit, and they look amazing. It's a very compact and portable wireless mechanical keyboard that looks great. When it comes to battery life on this keyboard, you should know that it can last between 8 hours and 4 weeks of constant use, and this depends on how you use the LEDs. It has many more great features, and if you're looking for a keyboard that's very compact and looks nice, you should definitely take a look at this one and see if it's the one that you were looking for. Buying Guide Firstly, Layout Another important thing when choosing a keyboard is the layout. Nowadays, most keyboards have between 88 and 101 keys. Most of them include a number pad. However, if you think that you don't need a number pad, you should check out smaller keyboards that take less space. Also, there are plenty of great keyboards that have extra keys for programming game commands for your favourite MMORPG. Something else that most gaming keyboards have are the media keys, which are located in the upper right hand and have controls for skipping a track, play or pause, and more. Secondly, types. Before you make your final decision, first you need to make sure which type of keyboard fits you best. There are three types of keyboards, mechanical, membrane, and scissor. The mechanical membrane is the most good-looking option for a gamer. The thing is, it's not all about the looks. These types of keyboards deliver a pretty good performance too. The membrane keyboards are pretty simple. They have a rubber membrane under each key, and they're the most affordable keyboards. The scissor keyboards are commonly used in laptops, and they are very quiet. And thirdly, compatibility. Most keyboards nowadays connect to the computer via USB ports. The old PS2 ports are almost obsolete. Wireless keyboards connect to the system via Bluetooth and are somewhat tricky to set up, unlike the plug-and-play USB cord keyboard. Most keyboards need some software installed on your computer to use the function keys. Make sure the keyboard is compatible with your system before you actually buy one. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.